I think I should burn the mega motor. There was no visible problem with the mega motor except that it uh, burnt the ESC and it uh, didn't go smoothly anymore and drew huge copious amounts of current. With I tested it with 2S without uh, load and it was 55 amps. So clearly it had burned. It's impossible to open the motor without destroying it. So what I did was I dremeled a groove around it. It's a, let's see if you can focus on it. It's just a, a bearing in an al aluminum plate um, inside the in runner. It's still a very smooth sort of some kind of Kevlar uh, epoxied um, uh, in runner core which has been balanced at the factory with uh, some kind of green green gook epoxy something uh, it is smooth running as ever looking into the motor let's see if we can zoom in further and get some focus um, it's a little bit uh, the windings are just slightly ever so slightly black in some spots zooming out maybe it, that's better um, the lacquer here is a little bit black. I, th I just think it overheated and uh, maybe I got the spinner in a landing, a spinner pushed against the fuselage, which meant made it burn. So uh, it still looks basically good and uh, pretty much intact, but um, it wouldn't work. And I guess now that I've opened it uh, the hard way, it um, won't work ever more. Uh, rise an hour gearbox. This is actually four and a half, one to four and a half, with a, a ten shock, uh, ten shock TS um, EZ fifteen fifteen. So uh, is it what three seven seven zero kV? And um, I hope that I will get this with a. It's currently with a thirteen by eight, but possibly turning a fifteen by uh, eight or fifteen by six prop. I think it'll be it'll be good. Let's see. I don't need this to be a ballistic missile, I just need to be able to get up, if needed, swiftly to 200 meters. Obviously the firewall isn't suited anymore for the tree screw attachment of the, the Ryzen Hour gearbox, so I will need to do some dremeling. So one screw could be screwed in right away, and the two others need to be dremeled out a bit. So not too much uh, violence. I could use this hole, I'd a little bit enlarge it. Um, one of the ventilation holes, I took and uh, made it, open it up towards the center. And the same thing with this one, open it up, up towards the center and a little bit to the side. So now what I need to still do is around the rim, I need to open up more ventilation space um, because um, it is only through the small gap here that uh, the motor will get uh, ventilation it certainly will need to get uh, air. The result of uh, grinding up some ventilation grooves along the, 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 the sides here is that it looks actually more like holes than, uh, than, uh, than firewall one screw, two screws, and three screws go to, go into here. These were already holes before, so there's not much to do. Ideally, I would I would seal a gap around here to make it more into a ring, um, but um, I don't really see how I would be able to do that in any intelligent way. Maybe I don't have the right ESC at the moment. I just have a cheap 30 amp uh, multi-star 12. Uh, US dollar ESC to test with at the moment waiting for my YGE 60 amp um, These are the props are 13 by 8 uh, cam carbon props and uh, It's an 850 milliamp per hour 3 cell 70 C Thunder power light bar looking at the current reading here going from just getting it spinning a few amps. Let's put it to full throttle Mmm. -hmm. 